Simon and Mabuhay. Welcome back to Philly Swiss. It's another doggy video as usual nowadays. And we are going to unbox Snickers Wolf Box. So yes, if you've seen our TikTok and Instagram account, you would have seen that the last uh, vlog post of the unboxing was actually posted only there as a short vlog. But now we are doing again another full vlog over here on YouTube. So let's get started. So now we are opening the box as usual. Ah, okay, it says don't forget to tag us on your hashtag Wolfbox Day. Ooh, look at that design. Do you see that? It says the wild box. Ta da! So there, it must maybe it has something to do with the wild, the jungle. Huh? <laughs> and there's Snickers in the jungle. In the jungle, na, 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 na. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wolf Club. We're feeling wild this month. How about you? Lots of rain, some hot sun, and lots of free time. <laughs> if only we can all have free time. This month's box is full of fun and tasty items that we think you will you will be wild about. Since Playtime Adventures use up a lot of energy and also makes you thirsty, we've included a recipe for your own Jungle Paw snacks. Tell your human to grab a fork and get creative. You can even use your paw mold for some birthday cookies. As always, we can't wait to see your pictures and videos. Wishing you an August full of wild adventures, naps in the sun, and delicious picnics and of course a wonderful birthday too to finish off the month licks and snuffles so they did include the recipe for a wild jungle paw track snacks so let's read the ingredients we're gonna try this out so there will be definitely another video where we will try this out so one banana three dessert spoons of blueberries or strawberries or doggy safe peanut butter and 113 grams of natural yogurt so we just need a blender or a fork and then yeah mix all the ingredients together put it in the freezer so it's basically the ice treats that we make but of course this one uses a lot more uh, ingredients than like me with the water and the, the fruit so yeah I think this is something that someone's going to enjoy so we can find more recipes in blogs, healthy frozen dog treats, recipes and tips, and recipe suggestions for frozen stuffed Kongs. Yes, we used to put also like um, liver paste in his Kong together with his um, dog treat, and then leave it in the fridge, and then when, you know, he deserves a very, very delicious treat, out comes the Kong. So yes, that might be something we will be doing again, but I already made the blueberry ice treats and I even made a popsicle for him because I made too much. So of course, whatever mold I had, I had to use for him. So now it's time to open the box. Oh, I see a lot of toys guys. Don't know if we have enough space in the toy box because we already ran out of space. Oh, this is... This is a very cool one. It's quite long. Look at that. Look at that. It's Cocodrillo Dog Monsters. It's a dog monster crocodile. <coughs> oh, that's loud. <coughs> so three sections have uh, squeakies. Okay, I don't hear any plastic in between. So it's really just squeaky toy. So, yeah. Ah, it's by Gloria. So, it's again a toy from Gloria. I haven't seen the Gloria toys in a while. So, yeah, it looks like a cracky gator. <laughs> right, Snicks? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Here's this one. <laughs> it's investigating it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. And he gets balls again. And he's playing with the crocodile. So he gets again balls. Oh, 
guys <laughs> just in case you were wondering it is actually snickers birthday month so uh, by the time that this will be posted we would have already passed it so yes uh, snickers is actually turning two years old or maybe by the time you see this he's already two years old so yes they actually gave him now a Kong Occasions birthday gift and these two are of course the Kong balls if you remember last time in his first year birthday he actually received also a uh, ball another toy that also said happy birthday it was like a balloon with a rope so we have something uh, similar and this is also um, a ball yes I love how easy it is to, to tear this apart all right so you see it says happy birthday and this is from Tom so I hear the plastic oh it's just plastic I thought there's gonna be like a squeaky toy in there or maybe I'm just trying really hard to prefer something that is in there so yeah very plasticky <laughs> sorry guys he's on the floor all right and then here's the other ball so there's two balls actually this one says celebrate Ta -da! celebrate good times come on we gotta celebrate uh, ah see there is there is a squeaky toy so i'm gonna guess that one did as well but maybe it's not in the right position maybe i moved it too much so eventually snickers will find a way <laughs> to make it squeak again so let's take the trash out all right Ooh, i see brown paper bags so so guys here it is very very stinky tree i don't know what it is it is stinky must be an ear of some sort oh, oh he's getting desperate guys it's too good it's so good not to it's so good to pass oh my goodness uh, i'm gonna need to pass it but um yeah let's let's take a bit of it it's just a tiny little bit well i mean it's gonna be good for actually getting him to to try it out here's next one here. good boy sit all right sniff test sniff test So there you go, it's an ear, there's a lot of them in here, so we have more than enough sticky treats to give him after his bath because he's always such a good boy after the bath. So he, he doesn't find the bath the most pleasant thing or activity to do, so whatever. Now we have here another brown paper bag, so this one is chicken wings, 100% chicken. So, is it going to be like chicken jerky? It looks like it. Oh, it's the wings. On the wings of love will be the two of us together flying high. There you go. Here's the wing. So, yes, I mean, I mean, I could also eat it, but um, it doesn't seem like it's made for me or cooked in the style that I would like it. So, yes. I would give this to him, but he just had not the other treat. So here's another tree. Oh, this is from Prumi. Is that how you pronounce it? Prumi? I don't know. I think it's Prumi. Snacks Sumon. Ah, it must be French. Prumi. Pochion et chat. Okay, there we go. So it's for dogs and cats. So if, oh, it is Swiss. So it is actually a local brand. So in case you want to check it out, guys, um, go to their website, www.prumi.ch. Prumi is spelled with K-R-O-U-M-Y. And if you want to check their Instagram account, it's K-R-O-U-M-Y underscore C-H. So again, I'm not going to give it to him yet until he's finished his sleep. I really wanted to just cut a piece of it, you know, but what can I say? It's something that can't be destroyed. Fish. It should be satin. Um, but yeah, it's very, very strong aroma. So there we go. That's how it looks like. Just really, what do you call it? Jerkified salmon. So yes, he's going to enjoy this one. 
so it's not freeze dry there's no gluten 100% uh, natural yeah and no additives basically but it comes from Germany that's interesting okay all right all right and then the other one also from Krumi or Krumi and this one is then chicken so you can see this package has a fish and this package has a chicken it's a hen maybe yeah it looks like a hen all right so let's see it's the same actually so we just have to check inside yeah let's see the chicken pieces look like they've turned into croutons <laughs> that's how dry they look like and they really that dry you see here Ta -da. so no, it doesn't smell bad so it's fine it's really really dry it really looks like croutons at this point so i don't know we will see from the maybe taste it if you still have an appetite so i don't know we'll see we'll find that out later soon enough all right this is the last item so yes this is the poppy paw silicone mold so you know that i do have already a uh, paw and dog bone molds but they're very tiny these molds so this is huge this is really really big so this is from the wolf club themselves thank you wolf club oh my goodness okay i can't open it the right way so i'm gonna open it and be savage so there we go so you see it's very big this mold is huge see really really big so if you watch my videos on how uh, when i make his ice treats you'll know that the size of the mold i have is like really tiny a quarter of the size of this mold maybe so yeah um it's gonna be interesting because then i can actually try the recipe that they gave and yeah i'll make a video out of that one and most likely also be on kumu to actually <laughs> give it a try so guys uh just a big reminder um i am more often now on kumu doing live streams so in case you're pinoy or you're interested in watching my live streams uh, on kumu download the app now and uh, yeah so you can see me there i do uh, vlogging 101 content uh, sing a song or sing along so it's karaoke time uh, guild wars 2 and final fantasy 14 gameplay i have the dog care streams there um, we do have as well the travel and events depending on what trip exists at the moment but at the moment we are not going so we will see what happens with that and of course there's also the cook with me segment there so basically almost mimicking what i have here on youtube it's just the difference is that i'm doing the live stream over there so yeah if you want to go and support me over there no problem i have some content that i will also bring into the vlog uh at some point here maybe this month no not, actually we're not gonna make it this month it's gonna be next month in september it's gonna come out because i have joined the pageant it's called the kumu bayani festival pageant and i'm basically one of the queen candidates and i'm representing uh, and I am representing Waves for Waters Philippines. So they stand for uh, access to clean water, especially in the rural areas in the Philippines. So basically, again, it's like a tongue twister. Uh, clean water in rural areas in the Philippines. So that's basically uh, what my advocacy is during this time of the pageant. And of course, post pageant, I would love to be able to work with them directly uh, when I am able to go back to the Philippines and visit the places, visit uh, the organization and meet the people themselves. So yeah, um, there's a lot of fun going on in Kumur. marketing head of Kubo Euro, being a CS Digital artist, being a host, being a guest, and doing my own content. So you'll see me more of actually my best to keep actually posting videos here, even if it's at least the unboxing, because I wouldn't let Snickers down that he gets his boxes, but we don't get to do the fun part, which is unboxing the box. So yeah, um, you also catch me on Kumu every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Yes, 8 to 9 p.m. CST or 2 to 3 a.m. Philippine time. 
because then I will have the rotation of the different lifestyle uh, streets which is vlogging 101, dog care, and cook with me. So there's a lot of fun stuff that goes in there. Do check it out and if you want to follow me on Kumu, um, then you can just follow Philly Swiss. I have it on all social media profiles. I just try to make your life easier at this point. So, um, yeah, I guess Snickers will eventually finish the treat that he has. I cannot show you anymore whether or not he approves this, but at least I will keep posting these on IG and of course on TikTok. So if you want to check it out there, what are the latest, let's say, progress on what he thinks or how he finds these treats and toys, so just check it out. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Um, Facebook, Twitter, although I'm not as active there as I am on the other profiles and of course not as active there as I am in Kumu. So if you want to see those content, do follow me there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Um, yeah, then I guess I'll see you next time. And Shene and Paalam!